Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk about some tips for caring for intubated patients. It can be very intimidating the first time you take care of intubated patients because they've got a breathing tube coming out of their mouth, they're very sick, they're on life support, and you're just like mind blown at how am I going to take care of this person when they have all this other stuff going on. So as an ICU nurse, obviously I've gotten very comfortable and confident in taking care of these types of patients, so I wanted to offer some tips on things that you should or shouldn't do. Uh, my number one tip is patient safety. Um, so basically all the care that you're doing for this patient is going to revolve around making sure they don't pull their breathing tube out or making sure that their breathing tube doesn't come out. So anytime you're turning or rolling the patient, you really need to make sure that someone always has an eye on that ET tube, that it's secured, that you have extra slack in your ventilator tubing so that way when you turn them, it has room to pull with them versus if it was kind of stuck on something and you turn them and then you potentially pull their ET tube out or partially pull it out. So very important that you're always paying attention to that ET tube whenever you're doing any sort of care to an intubated patient. Also, every hospital is going to be different. Um, when it comes to restraint usage, mitt usage. So check with your hospital policy on that. But if you have a patient who is maybe not adequately sedated, or even if they are sedated, is still having, has enough strength or um, willpower, I don't know what you want to say, to potentially pull their ET tube out, then it's important to make sure that you're following your hospital policies as far as Maybe they need soft restraints, maybe they need mitts on, maybe you need to up their sedation. That's all going to depend on the orders that you have. So make sure you're following your orders in your hospital policy. But I can say where I work is we use soft restraints quite a bit, not on every intubated patient. But when someone, even if someone's sedated, if they're not heavily, heavily sedated, they could still wake up and grab their ET tube and not necessarily intentionally, but it's a reflex. You have something going down your throat. Of course, you don't want it there and you're gonna try and reach and get it out. So making sure your patient is sedated and comfortable and maybe they're receiving pain medication so that way they are comfortable and you have a less, less of a chance of them pulling their ET tube out. Some other really important tips um, this has to do with the VAP bundle, so ventilator associated pneumonia. There's many things that we do as nurses to prevent patients on a ventilator from getting pneumonia. And so um, making sure you do your oral care per the VAP bundle or hospital policy, whatever, wherever you work, they'll have a policy on it. Um, where I work, it's every two to four hours. We do oral care on vented patients. Um, making sure their head of the bed is at least 30 degrees. There's other things that, that have to do with the VAP bundle as well, but those are some of the things that we do at the bedside. Also, another important thing that I'm not, a lot of, not a lot of people think about, um, but make sure you follow your hospital policy on this as well, but changing your suction tubing and canisters. I can't tell you how many times you walk into a room and this suction, tu suction tubing on this vented patient who's been vented for a week hasn't changed and bacteria and nasty stuff grow on there and then you're using or doing oral care or going down your ET tube and suctioning with that same suction canister or tubing that's kind of gross so following your policy as far as how often you change it um, and labeling it so that way you know that it's been changed. The next thing is just to treat these vented patients like human beings. Make sure you're talking with them and explaining things to them. I like to try and even if I know they're sedated, I will explain to them like, okay, I'm going to lift your right arm now. I'm going to put a pillow under there. Or, okay, I'm gonna, we're going to be turning you a little bit to your left. Or you're going to feel a cold wipe because I'm cleaning your backside. Whatever it is, explaining what you're doing, treating them like they're a human. Even if you know that they know. I don't, how can anyone really know? But even if you know that they're not going to remember it, or they probably don't hear you, or they probably don't understand you, or maybe they're brain dead so you know that they just, they're brain dead. I personally, maybe it's just me, but I like to talk to my patients about what I'm doing. If I'm doing oral care, if we're moving their ET tube, or for suctioning, explaining to them everything that's going on. Because you can only imagine if you've got a breathing tube down your throat, you're strapped down to the bed, it can be very intimidating. So 
just being that comforting voice and explaining things as you go is my next tip. So those are my tips for caring for intubated patients. Uh, at the end of the day, they're patients just like anyone else. They just have a breathing tube in. It's just another piece of equipment. Just like if a patient has a wound back on or they're hooked up to an IV or they have a central line or they have, I don't know, whatever they have on them. It's just another piece of equipment. Very important piece and something you have to be very careful of but um, just making sure that you are treating them with respect and dignity and keeping them safe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.